Number 3, Sun Life Prosperity Dollar Starter Fund, 2.11%. Number 2 is ALF. Mali! <laughs> ha? Huh? Dollar Money Market Fund, number 3. <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> sa ating uh, yes. episode for this week and Happy New Year uh, Happy New Year and as promised no, sasabihin na 2020 uh, or de, ano ba? <laughs> uh, Happy New Year 2020 yes. or as some others would say 2020 Etnep etnep daw <laughs> Ayun, Anyway, as promised sasabihin, yes. uh, bibigyan namin sa inyo yung mga top performing investment funds yeah. for 2019. Yes, okay. 2019. So, malalaman natin no kung sino yung mga top performing mutual funds and UITFs for you 2019. So, simulan na natin. Oo, oh, sige. Yan. So, ano mutual ba muna? Fund. Mutual fund. Yes, mutual funds first for equity. Uh, i-split natin equity no sa dalawa. Index tracker na equity fund yes. sa actively managed. Okay. okay? Yeah. Index tracker yun yung mga sinusunod na lang ang index. Uh-huh. Okay. Ang PSEI at actively managed yun yung mero intervention. Fund manager. Uh-huh. Si fund manager. Oh, okay. Ayan. Okay. Sige. So. <laughs> Simulan na natin for equity actively managed equity mutual funds number three is fill equity dividend yield yes, fund fine. at 2.62 percent. Okay. Number two is also Phil Equity Fund at 3.45% for the full year na to. Oo. Maliit. Oh, maliit talaga. Gamay. And number one for full year 2019 is Phil Strategic Growth Fund at 3.5%. Oh. Yeah. So, bakit nga ba ang liit? Kasi sideways lang mostly ang ang ano no yes. ang equities or ang stock equities. market for well you know? sumipa siya if i remember it right mga second uh, mga f- first or second quarter mga uh-huh. ganun mga nag 81 na yan 82ish ganyan uh-huh. tapos from there bumaba na siya tapos ganun ganun na lang siya hindi na siya umakyat more than 8000 uh-huh. umpog okay. na siya doon all because of of course the ongoing US China trade war Yeah. last year no ang laki talaga ng effect actually mm. uh, may mga nabasa ko nag uh, year in review din no mga oh. sa US mm-hmm. sabi nila parang ang hirap daw talaga uh, tansyahin yung market yes. last year kasi maski daw isang simpleng tweet ni Donald Trump <laughs> nagiging volatile yung market oh, kasi oh. Uh, pabago-bago yung isip tungkol dun sa mm. trade deals with China eh. mm. so syempre nagre-react yung market mm-hmm. and pag pabago-bago yung isip ng isang presidente syempre as business person oh, as investors di mo alam nagre-react ka money, oh. eh. and of course apart from that also naka epekto din yung rebalancing ng mm. MSCI sa kanang FTSE ng F- FTSE kasi again guys no if uh, hindi natin masyadong nababasa sa news nagkaroon ng rebalancing itong uh, mga global uh, research and uh, research institutions as well like MSCI and FTSE na kumbaga they put greater weight in terms of their global basket to China uh-huh. okay so kumbaga lumit yung Philippine na weight sa basket nila so ang nangyari is that of course sa mga foreign fund managers and foreign investors na sinusundan yung index na yon or yung basket na yon then automatic na nag-withdraw din sa, sa Philippines yes. to reflect that so yes, yes. US-China trade war and of course the outflow reflecting that key balancing of course ayan naka-apekto sa ating uh, stock market alright so mga index Index funds. Index yan, funds. yung mga gum, uh, gumagalaw uh, in lockstep. Okay, more or less with the index. Number three is Philippine Stock Index Fund Corporation at 5.27%. Uh-huh. Uh, number two at Phili- Equity PSE Index Fund at 5.34%. Uh-huh. And number one is First Metro uh, Philippine Equity Exchange Traded Fund at 5.61%. Oo. Yan. Malaki ah. Malaki. Rather, so, ibig sabihin, mm-hmm. yung mga actively managed mutual funds, yes. hindi nila nabit yung index last hindi. year. Hindi. Uh, Again, no, guys, no, uh, there's a risk also if you are investing in actively managed. Yes, it can overperform the index, it can beat the index, but since meron ka ng human factor niya, mm-hmm. then it can also not beat the index. 
Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yan. So it's a two-way ano, two-way So ano yung mas madalas mangyayari? Recently, mas nag-outperform ang index funds for the past uh, mga 2-3 years. 2 to 3 years, Oo, no? puro index funds. And question, eh kung pare-pareho namang index fund 'yan, eh bakit naman iba-iba ng performance? Iba-iba kasi yung formula na fina-follow nila. Well, hindi, but nagkakatalo rin kasi sa management fee. A management fee. Oh, okay. Kasi, again, no, guys, pag may management fee, yun yung parang kinakalta sa, sa, sa fund, which, of course, nakaka-apekto din sa performance ng fund. So, again, the greater, the, mas malaki management fee, mas malaki yung bawa. So, performance na babawasan mm. din. And, in fact, yung first metro exchange rate fund, ito yung may pinaka maliit na, na management fee. fee oh. 0.5%. Kaya naman, mas malaki yung return niya. Ah, yun. Okay. So, fees also matter. Yan. Balance Next. fund. Balance fund tayo. At number three is Sun Life of Canada Prosperity Balanced Fund at 5.81%. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Film Fund at 6.61%. And PAMI Horizon Fund again from Film Asset number one at 7.21%. So, mas malaki ang mga ang kinita ng mga balance fund for 2019. Yes, bakit kaya? Again, may because yun eh. meron siyang bond. And kung maalala natin, during 2019, medyo nagkaroon ng breather ang interest rates. Mm-hmm. Inflation, mas mababa. So, yung fixed income component ng balance fund, mas sumipa. So, mas nadala niya. Uh-huh. Yun siya as a whole. So, bonds were... Really, really took off nung 2019. Yes, they really took off. Makita natin yan later sa bond fund. By the way pala, no, sa mga investors ng PAMI Horizon Fund and Film Fund, they are under Film Asset. Pero recently lang, no, and this is public knowledge, Film uh, Asset magko-convert na into Trust Corporation under the Film Group. So, yung mga Film Funds, Film Line of Funds ay imamanage na ng BPI. BPI. Oh. Yan. So, eh, tingnan nyo rin how the performance would change. Kasi syempre, iba na fund manager. So, mm-hmm. Baka may iba na yung philosophy. Yes, no? investment philosophy. Bond fund. O, oh, ito. Uh-oh. Number three. Ah, kita nyo, sumipa. Number three, 10.47%. Ang laki. That's usually the the return ng mga equity fund. Eh. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, nasa bond fund siya. Nasa bond fund. It's Sun Life Prosperity GS Fund. Number two is Sun Life of Canada Prosperity Bond at 11.2%. And number one, okay, is Film Bond Fund at 11.54%. Yan. Laki Ay, na yung order mo. Oo, oh, salamat ha. <laughs> Kuya pa rin film nung... Uh, yeah. Ayan, so, okay. sumipa talaga. So, well, again, oh, I remember start of the year, marami nagsasabi, 2019 is another equity year. Mm-hmm. Yan. But again, yun, hindi nagkakatotoo. Kasi you, you cannot really naman foresee everything. Yan. So... Bond fund naman ang sumipa. Contrary Malaki to... Malaki yung nga, 11%. Oo. Oh, uh, a lot of experts were expecting at least 10% for the stock market. Huh? Mm-hmm. So again, guys, sinasabi namin is the value of diversification. Uh-oh. Yan. And money market fund. Number 3, <laughs> Sun Life Prosperity Money Market Fund at 3.74%. Nagugutom na ako. Uh-huh. Number 2, ALFM Money Market Fund at 4.09% and number 1 is Phila Managed Income Fund at 6.35%. So even yung mga money market fund which is mm. basically low risk fund siya mga yan, low no? risk fund ganyan. Na outperform niya yung mga equity no, fund. Kasi again ang equity bumaba for the year Uh-oh. almost flat lang. So again the value of diversification and again sticking with your financial. Oh, may makilala kasi ako gusto lahat sa stock market or sa equity fund kasi Uh-oh. yun daw yung mataas yung kinikita. Well Basically, under normal circumstances. Under normal uh, circumstances. Sila yung pinakamalaki talagang kinikita. At, and over the long term, sila talaga. Over the long term. But talaga. there will be years every now and yes, then. Yes, just na, like this year, 2019. Na mas, ma, mas mataas ang kinikita ng mga lower risk type of investments mm-hmm. like bond fund and money market fund. Yes. But hindi naman natin ibig sabihin na you chase performance. Oo. Uh, 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 diba na, ay, ganito, this year, sabi equity, you know, but stick with your plan, stick with your goal, yes. and of course, contact us kung meron kayo mga tanong. <laughs> yeah. As always, as your always. investment strategies should be based on your financial goals. Yes. Not based on what is performing. Or the hottest the, FB. Uh, ganyan. What is the ano sila, um, guide lang yung mga itong sinasabi natin. Oh, again? 
guide lang to. Meron tayong free will. <laughs> Sundin natin to. Anyway, <laughs> sige, UITF na tayo. Equity Fund. At number three is uh, CTBC Sun Life Philippine Stock Index Feeder Fund from China C- CTBC, CTBC Bank, Bank. Uh-huh. at 4.37%. UCPB Philippine Index Equity Fund at 4.94% coming in at number 2. Number 1 is AB Capital Equity Fund at 5.41%. Mm. Oh, okay, so AB Capital ha. Oh, nga, guys, I I hope you can check out yung mga past ano natin, no? Yes. Mga performance uh, uh, reviews reviews Uh-oh. natin. We have a playlist for Kasi, that. Kasi uh, personally, ako napansin ko, yung UCPB at AB Capital, lagi hmm. sila nasa top 3. So, On the UITF space. Sa, UI, uh, sa UITF. Yes. So, maybe it's a good option no? hmm. to invest there. So, oh, just sabi natin, and explore. Porque number one, doon ka na kagad mag invest oh, no? oh, oh, oh. uh, Mas importante na tingnan niyo rin yung mga past years. Sino yung oh, consistent oh. na nandun. Oh, no? Tingnan niyo yung year to date, yung previous one, three, and five years five yung consistent. Years. Oh, oh. Yeah. Makikita natin yan. At okay. least you have a feel. Next, balance fund at number 3 is CTBC Atram Philippine Balanced Feeder Fund at minus 1.14%. Negative. So, negative. Kung baga number 3, negative kasi parang siya na yung pinakakunting negative. Oh. <laughs> yan. Next, number 3 is AB Capital Balanced Fund at 2.39%. And number 1 coming in is UCPB Balanced Fund at 5.57%. Ah, wow, galing ni UCPB ah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Long-term bond fund. Okay, is again UCPB peso bond fund at 11.51%. Parang ano ah? Parang equity fund yung performance ah, 11%. Oh, 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 kasi again, maganda ang fixed income. Surprising din no, maganda ang naging uh, environment and performance consequently for the fixed income market for 2019. Uh-huh. Meron ding mga medium term bond funds, intermediate term bond funds pero walang nakalagay na ano eh. Hindi na, pa nila nilalabas yung hindi report. Hindi pa nilalabas nila. yung report, but again this reports as uh, as from uitf.com.ph for uh-huh. the UITF space. So, so paano yung mga fixed income? Pagitin pa ba natin? Pa na uh, okay, sige, walang figures eh. Di ba? Uh-huh. Money market fund. Uh-huh. Money yeah. market Money market fund in the UITF space. Number three is AB Capital, short term fund at 3.42%. Good performance. UCPB Cash Management Fund at 3.66%. Number two. And CTBC Money Market Fund at 4.17%. Coming in at number one. Uh, mga, mga relatively hindi popular na mga banks. Oo, oh, no? oh, 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 that's so, right. So, kung nandun kayo sa mga popular banks at doon kayo nag-i-invest ng UIDF. The usual suspects, oh, ganyan. Okay lang yon, no? Kasi yes. baka mamaya i-close nila yung account nila tapos bigla sila mag-open sa AB Capital at sa UCPB, oh, no? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what we're saying is if you have the, if it will be convenient for you to open, Now, yes, go ahead. That's Pero, true, convenience. Kasi oh, baka mamaya, tipo, mamamasahay ka pa ng dalawang oras, tapos mag- mahal pa yung pamasahay mo para lang mag-open sa napakalayo. Na so, branch nila. Oh, na branch. So, tinan din natin, no, if it's convenient and uh, cost-effective and cost-efficient for you. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right, so that's it. That's it for so, our 2019. Yeah, we've been doing this for uh, three years now, no? Yung oh, and again, these uh, uh, figures are from uh, the website of the Mutual Funds, yung worldwideweb.tfa.com.ph, and for the UITFs, worldwideweb.uitf.com.ph. All right, so I guess that's it for our episode this yes. week. Uh, please. Uh, Give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And please like don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.